Ah. 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 90, huh? 90. 90. 90, yeah. 90 goddamn tortillas. Around the world. Oh, it's 80. Day, damn it. Around oh, the world, around the world in 90 Is days. Is that possible? Around the world in 80 days? I mean, I guess like a jet. Dude, you see you can go from fucking like. Yeah. Uh, oh, that new jet they're coming. In. Oh, I forgot about that. I read that article. It was yeah, crazy. It's like fucking New York to London or some shit. You can go in like two hours. Like an hour and a half or something. Some it was around there. Dude, imagine like leaving at nine and be like, Yeah, I'll be there by lunch. Like what would what would that do to your like body and your head? So let's just say like let's just, not the yeah. not the, the not the hamster. Um no, if you were to take off from a place just to literally go around till you end up on the opposite side, like how would that must fuck with you, dude? Holy yeah. uh, do you think teleportation is gonna be around when we're around? No. I mean I don't technology is advancing very quick. Yeah, but I don't understand. I don't even think that's possible. I don't know. The only thing I saw, did you ever see, you know, the new iPhone came out? Did you see the commercial for it? They got like a dude shooting an action movie with it. That's a little far-fetched. It's like, okay, the average consumer is... is in the next 10 iPhones, I guarantee you, it's not, you can't do that. Uh, yeah, he was like in a helicopter and he's got it on like a mount. I'm like, if this guy can afford a helicopter, he's got like yeah. an 8K camera. Why he's would not he be using his phone. He's like, guys, let's save some money on the budget. Let's use this let's use an iPhone. Yeah, I'm like, okay. And as I was like, the average consumer is taking selfies, you know. They're not using it for that. Yeah. Most people don't even go into settings after taking a picture. I mean, no, no. 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 Um, welcome back to Slap Takes Around Lunch Table episode 90. 90, episode 90, 90. 90. 90. Um, yeah. yeah. Episode 90, guys. It's pretty cool stuff. It is. Um, we're going to, what well, do you want to do? Patreon first? Uh, Patreon. Patreon.com slash Around the Lunch Table for exclusive content. Episodes early ish. And also, you can just uh, support the podcast. Uh, if you're only a listener, which most people are, uh, you can also check out Apple Podcast subscriptions for the same content, but only the audio. So you know what? There's a lot of different uh, routes to get to the same destination, and that's what we love about modern day technology. Huh? Z, take it uh, away. Yes. Also, wanted to thank our first sponsor, Aperture Oceans, bringing ideas and ads to life. Um, also, want to shout out Live Estalia and Never Be Tamed, a wellness and fitness page started by ATLT's own Brandon Body Idol. You can look it up on Instagram. Live Stallion, Stallion spelled the usual way, live without the E, and Brandon Body Auto, Brandon spelled the usual way, Body Auto, B A T T I A T O, streams Monday through Friday. Um, and James, take it away. Got moles if you have moles. Uh, got a- moles. Yo, uh, 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 <laughs> Leave him alone, he's just a boy. We'll talk about that in a second. Let's yeah, like, yeah, yeah, we got to dissect going some, on. Yeah, let's the fucking, how did the how did the big fish get the scar? No, I don't. Okay, let's do the fucking <laughs> okay, thing. Do uh, the fucking thing. Got moles if you have moles in the Puget Sound area, servicing northern Seattle to southern Tacoma. It's a, it's a long distance. Uh, they are your premier mole exterminator using chemical-free methods that I actually don't know what they are because a magician never reveals his secrets, but it's supposedly chemically-free. Supposedly. Yeah, supposedly. Also, he is... And they also said artificial sweeteners were safe. <laughs> IEDs are only in Iraq. And then Nicole married for love. <laughs> <laughs> um, he is also coming out with a podcast that is going to be uh, actually finalized this today. Uh, under ATLT, we have our first podcast under us. Uh, the State Champ podcast will be coming out, and soon. then if it goes anywhere, we can Zuckerberg up and take it. Yep, exactly. <laughs> um, <laughs> Jokes on you. Yeah. So if you guys go to our channel on Apple Podcasts, you will see another podcast for State Champ, which the is ATLT coming out soon. banner is growing, folks. It is growing. It's growing. Our army is getting bigger. And our infantry is just getting that much more just psyched to go. You and know? we're still going to come out here and do the same thing. Oh, yeah. You know, you know we just show up to the even, ball field. Even with an army of a million, somehow, sometimes still got to do the grunt work. So oh. Saddam Hussein needed a little bit of hanging a couple up, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, make sure you check both of those out. Uh, it is... Uh, actually, I was about to say it's great. He hasn't recorded an episode yet, so... It could be <laughs> it's shit. great. I don't know, but it's yeah. great. Uh, but he's actually going to have me and Z on separately. Um, for his first two episodes, so very excited about how much shit talking will be done about me on that. That's episode. not true. It's just going to be. It's, it's just. Kidding. It's just a different feel. You get a different side of each oh, person. Exactly. So instead of having us and both on that. in one episode, yeah. getting it all, I want. Then it's it's exactly. split. So you get more it's, more stuff. I know, and I love that. I God, it's not all about you, dude. I know it's not all about me, but I know there will be some shit talking. You guys have one thing in common, really, and that's me. So I just, guarantee you'll shit talk too. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. So it's just funny. I'm just saying you just think everything's about you. No, it's I, not about. I, it has I, nothing I, to do with you. I don't think it's about me. I'm just saying I will be shit. On I would. I would point. love to go on there and not talk about you at all. 
Please do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you know, he's going to bring up ATLT. And, yeah, and he's going to do this. Yeah. And, you know, and then I'm going to go to work and everyone, people, paparazzi gets on my car. What do you think about Z's comments? Yeah. Oh. And then TMZ, you know, fuck. I don't yes. know. Yeah. Uh, no, I was on uh, Z. So. I thought we were going to talk about the scars and the fish. Oh, yeah. Okay. So one, Finding Nemo. Um, so one, I want, I have, a, I actually, now that I'm older, I have a few problems with that movie. Being what one that they uh, made light of a character with a mental disability. Yes, I am kidding. What I don't like not I'm saying it's a great movie. I'm not saying I don't like the movie, but <laughs> what I don't like is how these assumably grown adults in this tank mm-hmm. find themselves in the company of a, a child physically handicapped fish. Yes. And have him do the dirty work to make them escape. But I think it was because he was small enough. To I know. Fit yeah. The but they still made, they're, they're just like, Hey, come on sport. You could do this. Yeah. And they're just like prayer pressure. This like, let's be honest, middle school, elementary school kid. Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, dude. And then the, what, what's the, what's the fish's name? The one that had the scars on it. Gil. Gil. <laughs> Gil. Yeah, Gil, he has the scars. What, where, where, was he in Vietnam? Yeah, I don't, I don't fucking know. Yeah. <laughs> the other thing was... He's like, I don't know. He like swims by, looks over the kid's like, oh, he's got the scars. I'm like, dude, why is he Why is he giving me like the vibe like a Vietnam vet or something? He probably just like went after a lure and like, <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I thought it was food. No, um, what, what, what I don't get is like, you know when he's going through the initiation, the Mount Wanahaka yeah, movie? Yeah. So what if he didn't do it? They're all stuck in a tank. I know. <laughs> you can't be in our club even though we are spending life in the pen. Yeah. Yeah, in the pen. Damn, in the pen, bad. yeah, it is. Yeah, I don't know why the one girl was cracked out. My bubbles, my bubbles, my bubbles. Honestly, I'm not kidding you. I actually thought about this. In Finding Nemo, in the tank, it was kind of like a prison. You had one person of all these different personalities. Like, bubbles, bubbles, the weird crackhead that's schizophrenic. Oh, yeah. And then you had... The starfish that's down to earth. And then you had the one... He's not supposed to be there. Well, I don't know if that's where I was going. Oh, okay. Then had this guy, Gil, who's had a rough life. You know, he's all fucking scarred up. He's, he's been just mentally fucking scarred. Yeah. And then you got this, the fat blowfish guy. He's super funny. Everyone likes yeah. the funny guy. And then you got the shrimp. Doesn't say much. Just fucking goes around. <laughs> I don't know. It's just interesting. <laughs> and then you got the, uh, the old, uh, the old fresh tuna on the block. The one everyone wants. Nemo. Oh, I was yeah. like, it wasn't a tuna. No, they, they call it the fresh tuna, right? <laughs> and then the, what's it? The fucking <laughs> pelican flies into the window. He's like, he's like, don't. Move a muscle. And he's talking to the fish <laughs> of the fucking tank. Your dad's, he's swimming, he's swimming, he's going through, he's giving it all he's going. He's t- telling them the stories of the ocean floor. I don't fucking know. I'm like, dude, how the fuck is this going on? Did you ever on? see Finding Dory? No, no saw it. I don't no. think so. No, I think, I think Disney went the wrong route with that. I think, okay, but it's still a- sold. It did immensely well in the box I know, office. You didn't, let, they, you didn't let me finish my point. Okay. Um, I was well, saying sure it was going to be very. I think I think we needed a backstory to Gill or like the starfish or something else. Like we we already had so much of Dory in the first one. I mean, yeah, but that was that's arguably the most popular character. That's why. Oh yeah, and P. I Sherman mean, forty two. But they did it the right City. way because Finding Nemo was such a success, and they waited so long, mm-hmm. and then like, mm-hmm. hey, we're gonna do a movie, and then everyone's like, oh my god, this is crazy. Same thing with the Incredibles from the first to the yeah, second. And how many years that took? Buzz Lightyear flopped though. Yeah, that was a stupid idea. Leave it as it is. That was yeah. stu- if anything, they should have just done another animated one. Like pi- it like was Pixar, no, like 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 the Pixar one, oh, the original yeah, yeah. toys. They should just getting way. They should have just done another. Now. They should just done another one of those. No shit's way. And they're sitting there wondering why we spent two hundred million on CGI, but the one filmed on a VHS outsold us by eight hundred million. Exactly. There you go. CGI can't fucking cover bad story writing. Let me tell you. No, but I'm saying I think that a series originally shot a certain way. When you do all this shit to it and change it, it doesn't have the same effect as it did when you first saw it. Oh, one hundred percent. So but yeah, I mean it, it's the nostalgic part, and the um, I would say. With all the new sh- the new technologies and everything coming out. Oh, dude, you, you fucking see this shit? I don't know if it's fucking true, but I saw this Instagram post, you know, the metaverse is a thing, which I feel like it is, but it isn't. Like, no one's actually going dude, to people conferences. People are making money selling metaverse real estate. I know, but really, like, I feel like a lot of this is just made up. Like It is, but I honestly think to an extent, it, it might be a little ahead of the curve, to be honest. Okay, it might be, but it's like the metaverse thing happened and they're talking about like people, you know, like using it for jobs and they're going to be in a conference. And it's like, zoom is just fine. I don't need to see a little animated avatar of you sitting in a conference. Think about this. Okay. Think about this. Technology is getting so ridiculous. This is getting to get to a point where people like life sucks so much that they would rather go and live in this. That's the matrix. That's the whole point of that. That's what I'm I'm saying. And so that's why all this thing is starting to get some probably traction because people, when they could do all this shit, it's like, dude, this is actually way funner than my normal life. 
Yeah. Well, dude, there's fucking metaverse stripping, dude. There's this like, which I don't even know if it's legal. I don't know. I don't know the kid's age. I don't know. Uh, it was this young. Yo. A- it was this young Asian boy. Or I'm like, I'm gonna say man. I hopefully boy. he looked really young. But he's like, this is how I make like you know forty thousand dollars a week doing metaverse stripping. Dude, I want to. I'm gonna join the metaverse. I'm a drug dealer, dude. And, like shoot people and do crazy shit. Can you? Are there like? I don't know. I mean, drugs there. I don't know. Can you just? Dude, I went into like I. I meant like just be a menace. Oh I yeah, yeah. No, I remember when uh, me and Jacob were doing it for a little bit. It was uh, it was VR chat. You could just walk around to these yeah. random rooms and like, but it was like proximity chat. Yeah. And like, so you'd yeah. you'd walk by some people, and all you see is the avatars just standing right next to each other. We're like, oh, let's go see what these people are doing. And you just hear, uh, uh, and they're just like doing like it's kind of like phone sex, I guess. Like it's so strange, but then yeah, like, it's weird. But it's also like unrated because like this guy gave me this skin or something. You imagine how weird that is. What are these people doing? Where they're in a house where they can VR have phone yeah, sex? Yeah, like exactly. imagine walking into like your roommate's room. He's just had VR headset. Oh, oh. <laughs> just like what the fuck is going on, dude? But it was like this shit's like unrated for some reason. Like there's no like restrictions, which I mean, well, yeah, I'm, because it's. But it's like. Dude, I remember I got this skin and it was just like this girl with just like these fucking like big old beach ball titties. And every time I moved, they just bounce. You could see nipples and everything. And I'm just like, why, where did this come yeah, from? Yeah, I don't like, know. I don't know. I mean, I, I'm, I'm, it's interesting. But yeah, the fucking kid's metaverse stripping or whatever. And so I just see this. this so you're li- telling me he does go all the way. <laughs> so, I mean, what was weird is he was a dude, but in the metaverse, he was a girl, which is whatever. Um, Catfish. Yeah, but so he puts on the fucking goggles, you know. Yeah, and he's got the things, and then all I, and then the camera cuts to just him going like, <laughs> like fucking waving his arms around. Looks a lot better in the metaverse. Yeah, I assume. and so then the girls doing his thing, and it's like, couldn't you just like if people pay for this? I guess I don't know. I mean, let's be honest. If you got that check, you'd be like, all right, well, I guess I'm going to keep doing it. No, I know, but who's, who's I don't, paying? Who is sitting at home fucking who's like, paying? yeah, this is the shit, bro. Who's paying? Speaking of paying, oh, we got a fucking email this. Uh, we got an email last night that I'm going to that I'm gonna read out loud here. Um, so I will not mention their name, but if you are listening, uh, we would like to have you on the podcast. Uh, yeah, we want to have you on the podcast. We would so love we're to have you we're flattered. On the, we're very flattered. So um, I got an email October 10th. Hey, around the lunch table, I love your guys' podcast. Was wondering if you take requests. And I was like, I was thinking like a request on a topic, I, I something know. like that. So I said, hi, exclamation point. Uh, thanks for reaching out. Sure. What do you have in mind? Now, my innocent little brain just thought, you know, something interesting. And, well, because uh, it's not like we're famous. We don't get those weird emails, you know what I mean? Yeah, I know. Well, it's it's starting. And then TMZ is going to get a hold of it. And then we're, then we're all fucked. Uh, so sorry if this is too strange of a request. Not a good way to start out a, uh, a paragraph here. Uh, but I really love the newest video with y'all in front of the fire. And we can see your full body in frame sitting, which I think is the first video we've done with the full body. Or no, our, no, on the couch. Uh, or yeah, the, our but that, Christmas the, the camera wasn't as good. Yeah. So she could really see see our bodies, which I'm glad that we lived up to our standards. Um, now, I really love it because I noticed y'all wiggling your toes <laughs> inside of your shoes. I had moccasins on. That's why I was confused. <laughs> well, I remember my foot was like... like well, I, I, I bounce my foot a lot and yeah, stuff. Yeah, but know. you know, I move my toes constantly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so... But I was in those big vans. So I don't know. But she noticed them. She's obviously she has, she has an eye for it. Uh, wiggling your toes inside of your shoes. I really love watching guys wiggle their toes in <laughs> shoes, socks, and barefoot. You know, what? I'm gonna respect this woman. I mean, she's just coming out and saying it. Yeah, she is. I mean, she knows what she wants, and she's gonna ask for it. And you know, <laughs> I've just I can respect that. I can. Respect yeah, that. I mean, shout out. I mean, I am definitely. Like, uh, as far as women go, the ones that are just to the point, it's like, you know what? Oh, cause she's probably middle-aged, correct? I feel like middle-aged men usually do that. The fucking picture. I don't know. She's ginger. I know that. And she's white. Shocking. Oh, it was an email, huh? It wasn't like a Facebook thing. Yeah. It was an email. Yeah. She's, she's definitely smart, but, uh, she even signed it at the end, which is interesting. But, uh, anyways, um, but yeah, no, I mean, you know what? Tell me what you want. What you really, really want. Like, you know, just be fucking honest with me. You know, fucking, I got an open mind. You and for a girl to do that, that's very rare. Exactly. I think very, that's why rare, it's very, very intriguing. It's, it's admirable. It's, it's admirable. like, hey, you know what, Shawty, you want me to wiggle my toes for you? Just fucking tell me. Like, you know, let's figure it out. Um, I really love, love watching guys wiggle their toes. Is this mine? Uh, you can have it, sure. You want to share it? Yeah. 
Sure. Perfect. I love that. God, that was a good compromise. Uh, I really love watching guys wiggle their toes in shoes, socks, and bird fit. <laughs> you don't have to be in front of the bonfire. Okay, that's good. So she's telling us what we don't have to do. Uh, but the well, next we couldn't do another one anyways because we ran out of wood. Uh, yeah, we uh, Washington's out of wood. Um, but the next video is, can you please show your full body sitting and wiggling toes a lot too with the little monkey face? <laughs> Makes you want to do it. I don't know. I can donate to like, the Well, content. it's definitely about me, so. Yeah. Oh, we both do it. I mean, I think we both have different feet, but both attractive. Okay, yeah. <laughs> uh, I can donate to the content if need be for this request to happen. Um, if you're not a Patreon already, uh, you know, hop on that. But I'm I'll completely understand if this makes you uncomfortable and you can just ignore me, LOL, signed her name. You know, I'm going to give... Signed this- Jane Doe. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just shout out, man. I mean, shout out her. She, shout she her. told us she communicated her needs and her wants. Beautiful. I'm, yeah. She told us, you know, we didn't have to go too far. She just wanted to see the full body and have us w- wiggle these dogs. And you know what? Girls want these dogs and usually they want puppies. So you know what? I fucking love that. I do. I I, I think it's pretty cool. I mean, we, we're, we're at that point. I know, we're at that point. We have you know, admirers. No, it, it's weird when you get to the point where it's like, oh my God, we have people sending us weird shit now. Like, that's that's fucking sick. It was definitely a confidence booster, though. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Dude, she like You know only why you say it? Because Aaron and everyone literally like... Make fun of my toes. Because yes. you do it so profusely and so over the top. That's why in this you're like, oh my God, this is amazing. That's the only reason you like yeah, this so because much. I, I mean, I, I don't have... You've been waiting years for this moment. I know. I don't have the cutest feet. I know that. That was not what I'm saying. I'm saying because literally... Okay, be quiet. Don't say anything. This is your feet to every day. I know. And because of all the shit you've gotten, that's why this makes me happy. Well, because she liked it. I <laughs> <laughs> For once, someone liked my feet rubbing. And you know what? I love that. Uh, now you have, a, you have a backup plan. So, uh, Z, you and I aren't parents by any means. No, no. Um, fuck no. No, we are not parents. Not that I know of. Um, but we do have... Uh, me and Z decided to take a quiz for new parents. Um, no, Jack didn't. And it's just... No, I, I asked. Don't, don't you dare try to do that. I asked you. You're like, oh, that would be funny. No, it's exactly what you no, said. No, you did because right before you're... <laughs> I'm going to say something and I don't want you to get mad. Oh, right. God. Here we go. Why no. am I always on blast the last like five episodes? Never mind. Please continue. Mm-mm. Nope. You got to say it now. No, I have nothing to say. I forgot. Okay, good. Uh, okay, so this is... Um, this quiz is called New Moms Will Fail This Quiz and Veterans Moms Will Ace It. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> so uh, mo- most new moms will probably agree that looking after a newborn baby is no easy feat. It is daunting and stressful. After all, babies can't communicate. They can't express their thoughts and their feelings, not in words anyway. <laughs> 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 which makes looking after them that much harder. For example, it's almost impossible to know why a baby is crying. It could be crying because... It's, okay, I'm not going to be honest. Yeah, to fuck all that. Okay, uh, question one. Z. How many questions are there? I don't know. So there could be a whole eight pages and we're just going to go through this? Um, 25. Oh, my God. There's a lot, isn't there? Fuck. Okay, I'll do a different one. I'll do a fucking different one. The newborn baby quiz. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, Baby's crying is two in the way. What do you do? Suffocate under a pillow, go back to bed. Okay, newborn smile in their sleep because... One, they have gas. Two, they're dreaming about the womb. <laughs> Three, their brains are developing. That's definitely not it. I'm a, I'll, none These of all sound like myths. I know. But um, have, first of all, how do they fucking know this? Yeah. I'm going to go two. They're dreaming about the womb. Not specifically, oh. but what is it? The brains are developing. They what? don't. They don't smile. They, they know. Don't smile because they're not like, they're like oh, I'm getting it. smarter. I can feel That's it. Stupid. Okay, anyways, okay. Go. My newborn grabs my finger because one, she's still, I don't know why we're assuming it's a woman, but okay. She's still a primitive being. Two, it makes her feel safe. Three, she's developing muscle strength. Which one are we going to do? It's two or three, but I don't think the baby's like, you know, I got to get the forearms, got to get the forearms. Yeah, no, no, no. It, it's it's got to be two. It makes her feel safe. Damn it. It's three? Primitive being. What? what the fuck that How do they know that? Oh, this is interesting. A newborn stomach is the size of what? A ping pong ball, an egg, or a marble? A newborn? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to say a ping pong ball. Wait, an wait, egg? what was the other one? Oh, an egg? A no, ping definitely pong not ball, an egg. An egg, or a marble. How big are ours? Don't, don't stomachs I'm, like. Shrink? I'm going to I'm gonna say a ping pong That's ball. That's what I was going to say. Don't is that like, what it is? I, I haven't chosen it yet. I was going to say, like, don't like our stomachs like shrink and. Because gastric bypass, when they just like cut that bitch in half, right? And then you just can't eat. Yeah, like they minimize like your stomach to the size of like a fucking banana. Are stomachs elongated? 
I thought they were like the, okay, the equivalent of the size of capacity what could hold. Oh, you know what I mean? It's like it, you know, that's it's like a condom. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yeah, dude, have you ever tried to hold one out the window? You yeah, and it gets in. It becomes literally the size real? of the big. I've done it. Oh, you've done it. It, it becomes like the size of those things outside car dealerships. It's, like, <laughs> it's fucking. It gets huge. The one in mine breaks. That's why I know. That's why it's like. And it, I'm like, how do these fucking ever break? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Have you ever had a condom break and it just looks like a hair tire on your dick? <laughs> You know what I'm talking about, too. It's like, yeah. what, what am I supposed to do? Put this in my hair? Like, fuck. That's from a movie. I've but. seen... <laughs> <laughs> okay. I've actually seen a video of a girl who did that and put it as a hair tie. But that's, oh, no shit. Yeah, it was on Twitter. But <laughs> it looks like a hair tie is on your <laughs> No, hey, I mean, you know when you're putting one on and you always put it on backwards first? You're like, oh, and then... Gotta, yeah, you know, yeah. It's like way. put a hat on your. Oh, yeah. What am no, I thinking? Yeah, silly what am I thinking? Then sometimes you like do it like you know a quarter of the way down. It's on inside out, but you're like, come on. And it's like ah, and you take it off. <laughs> it's like taking like a super small sweatshirt off, <laughs> and you're like, oh god. Or okay. well, like you put it on backwards. Like, <sighs> thing is, a quarter of the way new through, I knew it was on the wrong way, but I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna keep trying, see if it, you know. Well, that's just a, maybe a personal thing, but yeah, exactly. Uh, okay, we're gonna go with ping pong ball. Is that where we left off? Yeah, a marble. A marble? Dude, we are That's shitty like this parents. Time. Fuck, man. Okay. Um, the sound of a newborn's cry mimics the language mom speaks. Wait, what? Oh, this is a true or false and an other? Okay. Wait, what? Okay, the sound of a newborn's cry mimics the language the mom speaks. True, false, or only if you spoke to your baby during pregnancy. Okay. How the fuck do they know this? That is, This is not true. I want to talk to the people who made this article. I have a question. Okay, I have an that answer. That is so, I need the answer, and I've thought of this a lot. Okay. You are a woman, okay? Okay. You just pop one out in the forest, okay? Right? You, you, you run away, okay? Baby's what? by itself. Okay. Say, uh, you know, some other creatures a take care of A scavenger. Oh, I thought it was to say come eat No, or no fucking humans, okay? No contact with humans. Oh, like a jungle book situation. Yes. Okay. What language does the baby think in? How does it think? I don't think there isn't there isn't a language in which it would think. I think it just thinks to itself, like I want that. But what what is it saying to itself? Just me, like it has no. But in, okay, an intellect is taught. You know what I mean? There's no you couldn't call it. It just knows what it would want. It just can't communicate to anybody. So who the fuck knows? I know, it's more of like a sensory thing. I feel no, like. but I'm saying like what I know what you're saying in its head. I don't think, I, I don't know. It's saying like, I want food, but what is it thinking in its head? In what language? Like maybe it's more of feeling it than thinking it. Oh. It's like, mm. I don't know how to tell you, but I'm fucking hungry. Just, mm. <laughs> <laughs> want to eat fucking something? Mm. I don't know why I did you go to Yoda. I don't know. That's a good, that's an interesting question. I, I don't yeah. know. I think, uh. I don't know. I know some some Christian people are probably like, oh, well, he's probably thinking in Hebrew because that was God's No, that's language. not I'm fucking like, true. No. no. Isn't Hebrew backwards? Like you read right to left? I've No, is it Hebrew? Something is, but I forgot what. It, maybe it is, is Hebrew. Is that the one that's a lot of like <laughs> when you're talking? <laughs> yeah, 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 it's a lot of. <laughs> wasn't that, well, that's just. Yeah, I think so. Is that German? No, German's the no, angry one. No, German. Jewin. <laughs> no, German's just like an angry one, but Jewin. Uh, Jewish, yeah, it is um very <laughs> or what you would call a hopa. Oh yeah. Yeah. Jew wait, Jews speak Hebrew, right? I think so, yeah. So that's what we're talking about. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like they're fucking munching on a ton of marbles. Um <laughs> uh, the son of a newborn's cry mimics the language mom speaks, true, false, or only if you spoke to your baby during pregnancy. I'm gonna say I'm gonna give a stupid answer because this is what they've been doing, the third one. No, no, don't. It's just true. Dude, this fucking quiz is so fucked. Okay, babies are born with a sweet tooth. One. How do you know? It depends on your pregnancy's diet. I yes, think so. 100% true that one. False. That one. Yeah. It's got that one. It's what not. The fuck? It's not. This we quiz. haven't gotten one right. How many are there? There's only a couple more. Uh, newborns spit up when they eat too much because one, they ate too fast. Two, they eat too much. Three, their stomachs are still developing. They ate too. I feel like it's never the answer. I mean, it's never think. the logical one. I think it's because they, they, they ate too fast. I, I think it's, mm. wait, because they ate too fast? Or? They ate too much. I'm going to say because their stomach's still developing. Yes! Yeah! yeah! Let's go! Nice. We just did the fucking turkey there. I know we did. <laughs> Fuck. I had this in my hand. Oh, okay. 
Uh, never wake a sleeping baby. True or false? <laughs> never, it's like never wake a sleepwalker. Never wake your newborn. Only if he's been sleeping too long. Then, yeah. Like, I mean, I want to make sure he's not dead. Yeah, I did that one. Yeah! yeah! There we go. Okay. Uh, you can get a newborn on night day schedule by you just have to wait. The clock's in at nine. Uh, <laughs> setting a routine, waking her up in the daytime. You can get a newborn on a night day schedule by you just have to wait, setting a routine, or waking her up in the daytime. Because um, babies sleep so much, I'd say set a, set a setting a routine probably, right? You just have to wait. Dude, that is this, so, this is so dumb, 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 dude. The best way to sue the baby is to one punch her, two. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. It's that one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you just gotta knock it out, and then you know. Wait uh, for wait for it to coo four times. <laughs> like, what is this shit? The best way to sue the baby is one by rocking her, two with a back rub. What? Oh, both of those of you are commonly oh. used though. And babies, they want a back rub, but they have a long we, day. Like, you know, they go like this and oh. rub their little. Somebody, back. I was thinking like in a massage. Like bed, they rub their like, bitty back. They go like this. Yeah, I was thinking like laying them down and doing like a back. I don't rub. think that. Yeah, I don't think that. Yeah, that's just where my mind went. Uh, by breastfeeding her. I think all those things are good for a baby that they like it. Well, I'd say rocking. Or not all babies like that. God, we're gonna be shitty parents. This does not mean that. I know. I, I these I, people don't even know the answer to these fucking questions. Okay, rocking her back rub or breastfeeding. <laughs> we're, uh, there's been times though. Were you, know, were you a formula baby? I believe for half of it, I was <gasps> a formula that explains baby. Explains a lot. Yeah. There's lead in that baby food. <laughs> what was that from song from? Or that's from a rap thing. What was that? Girl sweatshirt. Oh yeah, from was, Hive. Yeah, there's lead in that baby food. Gibbs trying to make it through. <laughs> Disappear in the. Anyways, <laughs> what happened, dude? His last couple albums. Oh yeah, were he fucking was quacky. Yeah, he is a cracky. I said quacky. quacky. Oh, cra quacky guy. <laughs> <laughs> he's a quacky guy. Dude. He's, a, he's a quacky guy. Do you think that we could be um, like news anchors? Dude, I think, I think we, we nailed. I think it. we could be some news anchors. You know, okay. Have you? Oh, I have an idea. I have an idea. Okay, okay here's what we're gonna do. So, you and I are going I'm to just answer it by saying with the, the news background. anchor mm -hmm. test. Oh, I would love that. And so, each of us are going to read a prompter and try to say it without stumbling over our words. Okay. So, but there's different levels. I don't know. <laughs> okay. I, I got to say one thing what? really quick. I asked someone we know for some talking points, and one of them was, How much money would it take you to eat an entire Petco? <laughs> I just skimmed through them. What? Is that an email? No. How much money would it take? She wrote like one, two, three, four. What five, the seven. fuck? Wait, who is this? When did this come in? I just opened my phone. It just came in now? Yeah. Wow. What timing? Uh, how much money would it take you to eat an entire pet girl? <laughs> Me, myself? <laughs> All guess. the dog treats and bones? I was thinking of the animals. Oh, the animals? Really? Says how much would you... How much money would it take you to eat an entire Petco? Like you're eating the animals, right? No. Nope. I don't know. Maybe uh, everything in was, it? Yeah. That's an interesting question. Do go to the next one. I don't know how um, to answer that. Um, <laughs> what song would you choose your birth to coming out of your mom? What song would you choose when leaving this world? Coming out of my mom? I want like fucking Trap Queen or something. <laughs> <laughs> the intro lets up. Oh. I don't know, but we're not going to get to all those right now. But what we are going to do is this news popper test. Okay, so this is like a short. So maybe this is just better because they're really quick. We don't have to do okay, a fucking okay, full okay, one. Okay. So, okay, this is yours. Jack is going to do a news anchor. This is what they see in the teleprompter. So, okay. ready? <clears throat> Get the teeth in the tongue and <clears throat> the lips. Okay, the skeleton ran out of shampoo in the shower. <clears throat> the test, I'm <laughs> I can't click out of this. <laughs> The Santa Barbara County Public Health Department is opening more COVID-19 vaccine appointments tomorrow. <laughs> the county is expecting 3,800 doses of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine this week. Emergency services, agricultural, and food service workers are eligible to get the vaccine. Community members can book an appointment starting at 9 a.m. tomorrow on the health department's website. <laughs> Megan. Oh, that was it. Wait. She's oh that's it. That was it. Oh that's not bad. That wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. That yeah, was good. I actually went a little a little faster than the prompter went. That's the only one I can find that's short. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm not gonna sit here for eight minutes and do a fucking actual oh, yeah. studio thing. 
All right. Well, that was one sided. That, that was very underwhelming. I thought it was going to be very more interesting. Hmm. Wait, what is this? This is just way go. longer than yours. Just, just fucking go. Okay, wait. Time out. I got to start all over. I feel that this award was not made to me as a man, but to my work. Life's work in the agony and sweat of the human spirit, not for <laughs> glory and least of all for profit, but to create out of the materials of the human spirit something which did not exist before. What is this, a research paper? I don't know. Before. So this award is only mine and trust. It will not be difficult to find a dedication. I'm reading too fast. For the money part of it. It's still commensurate with the purpose, significance of... It's too slow. Oh, fuck. Okay, I did it. Whatever. We, we tried. We failed. Okay, we'll, we, we fucking tried. We're, I, we're like Caesar. We came. We conquered. What yeah, else do you want from I, us? I don't, I don't know, know if fuck else. I don't know if we're good. At and I feel like we just fucked this up because we we're quiet searching for it. And I had to cut this shit up and yeah. fucking dice it and figure it out. Fuck. Fuck. Well, Damn it. Okay, anyways, back to this shit. Uh, today was Putin's birthday, I believe. <laughs> yeah, um, it was it? Yeah, or something like that. So, like, if, like, say you're, like, friends with Putin. Like, what are you getting him? I feel like you got to get him. Friends like with a, Putin? Like I'm a probably, head? I feel like I gotta get him like a super customized like pistol or something, or like a sword, like a yeah, sword. like something. Like I feel like he's into that shit. Like if you're like a billionaire friend, the fuck do you get him? Like I feel like that's what I'm saying. It's 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 just fully card. very customized shit. You know what but I mean? If I'm not even like one of one type of shit, that's what you get him. I'm not even something that he can't, hasn't. He hasn't but get. I'm saying like where we're at now, we can't afford billionaire item things. That's when the creative creativity really comes out. You know, you realize how little you know about someone when it comes to buying them a gift. That is true. Yeah, but depending on their situation, it doesn't take a lot. Depending on what their well, situation yeah. is. Yeah, but no, I think for Putin, like it, I'm people who are struggling financially are the easiest people to shop for. Oh, yeah. It's like, hey, here's a $20 <laughs> gift card. Have, like, you, have your kids fight over like, it. hey, any favor I do for you is going to be good. <laughs> you know what I mean? Not that that... I'm, I'm just saying. It's true. You ever had... Have you ever been down and out and like... Or I know you have. Never mind. But <laughs> I know you have, dude. My mom sent me a half-eaten pack of gum. Remember oh, yeah. that? Yeah. She's trolling me, dude. She was putting salt in the wounds. Yeah. No, I was going to say... I guess in movies, you know when like someone's sick and like the neighbors come around and they always bring a casserole or some shit? Like I never got that. Like I remember do people do that. I remember at church they'd be like, "Hey, this person's sick. Let's make him shit." It's like, dude, when I'm sick, I throw on some fucking pasta or something. Like I don't. Well, I think I'm that's not so they don't have to do anything. I know, but I'm not bedridden. Like <laughs> that's true. Maybe yeah. it's. I think like maybe it's older people. You know. What I yeah. Mean? Yeah. So like, if I'm sick, what did, what are you gonna make me? If you're sick. Yeah. Like. Well, usually you don't want anyone to make anything for you. You just want to eat snacks. That's not true. When you're sick. No, you I'm don't even eat much when you're sick. No, I'm saying like, okay, I'm you sick. You do yeah. not eat much when you're sick. I know. I'm saying you out of the kindness of your own heart are like, I want to make something for Jack. He's, he's not feeling well. I would what, not what make, make I would not make anything without asking you if it's okay because you might not eat it. Okay, just as, as a surprise. You're, you're surprising me. <laughs> <laughs> Probably like fucking soup. Like a homemade chicken noodle soup. Okay, Bam. thank you. Was that so fucking hard? No, but like you have... Okay, listen, there's plenty of things I made. They're like, oh, okay, I'm not really... And, and you usually want to do your own thing for food. So I'm saying, I don't know what you would actually... I wouldn't go through the trouble of making a whole thing if you're like, eh, just put it in the fridge, I'll eat it, and then you never touch it. So yeah. I'd rather... I would rather I totally ask. That. I totally I'd rather that. ask. I totally get that. You know what I mean? I'm sitting there fucking chopping onions like one of the gun chef Ramsey's yelling at me. <laughs> I'm like, oh, oh my God, I can't believe I made this for Jack. This is amazing. And they're like, they're like yeah, no, I'm going to get Taco Bell, man. Yeah, like, oh okay. my God. Okay. I just, yeah. oh, no, Should I'm he saying, die? Should he die? No, Should he die? I, I, <laughs> I'm just saying I wouldn't want to go through all I that, that just for you to say no. A hypothetical situation. Chicken I'm noodle. Say, Thank you. Chicken new news. Chicken. What noodles. would you make for me? I would make you, I think, some mashed potatoes. That's because I know how much you love. I them. love mashed potatoes. Yep, some garlic mash, and then um, I think even when you're sick, you want something a little hearty. So maybe like a Portuguese sausage or something. A Portuguese? I, I don't know. Polish just, sausage is pretty good. Yeah. Polish just just sausage. a sausage by itself and thump it on a plate. Sorry. No, I'm just I'm making you a meal. Okay. Okay. Let's play the holier than thou card. You are so. You are just. Oh, you're Dude, a maniac. One, one time, my, my sister, when she was younger, was trying to do quotes, and she's just like, so anyway. What the Is that like multiple quotes in yeah. one? Like well, the tit squeeze? Anywho. In, anywho. <laughs> Did that? Yeah, she's like 12 or something. That's else. actually really And funny. even I was like, yo, that is. <laughs> you're like, yo, that's just wild. <laughs> I was like, Yo, that <laughs> it's like a bear, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Um, dude, uh, I was talking to our friend Lucas the other day. <laughs> and uh, you know how like in a gay culture, they have different names for like kind of like the size you are. Yeah, I, like I a, never was aware of that. There's a twink, a twonk, a cub. I, I, a I honestly would think twink is a bigger person for Twinkie. 
Oh, really? That's well, what I, I think kinda... Twink is the smallest. I'm a twunk, apparently. And then when he was... It's is all... that like shrink shrunk? Yeah, maybe. Oh. Ah. Yeah, so I, I'm not as small enough to be a twink, but I'm like skinny, so I'm a twunk. So is that like chunk? Because no. you're chunky, but not... No, 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 no. But like, it also goes by age, because he said when he was younger, he was a cub. But, <laughs> but I thought that's what cougars called kid, little younger guys. They're like, those were cubs. No, I'm talking about in, in gay. Oh, okay, I see. In, in gay, gay context. In gay culture, yeah. yeah. Now he's a bear, I believe. I think you'd be a... I don't know what's... I think you're a little bigger than me, muscle-wise. So I think maybe you'd be... A, we weigh like the same. Uh, well, not since you've start, stopped eating. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Ugh, I did not stop eating. I intermittently fasted. Yes, you did not intermittently fast. I ate one meal a no, day. No, no. You just stopped eating because you like you'd eat like one time and then you just wouldn't eat again. But then you'd re- it was sporadic. Intermittent fasting, it's consistent. Yes, and I eat one meal a day. No, stop. anyways, it that worked. was a funny. Com- that was a funny comment. Yeah, yeah. I, it, it worked <laughs> ever since you stopped eating. Yeah, it fucking worked. But you weren't fat in the first place, so I just wanted to trim down. You know, fucking. So how small is too small? Next thing you know, New Year's Eve, you're gonna I be stopped. puking in a toilet and you're gonna be a twig. I stopped. I'm still a twunk. Well, I'm hopefully you don't go to the bar and your jeans fall off your pay, off your hips. My belts don't fit anymore. Yeah, but no, I, I'm I'm not a twink. I'm still a twunk. God, you like Christian Bale in that role? Okay, that he, okay, okay. yeah, I'm not that fucking skinny. What so I'd be a twunk, a twink? No, a twink is smaller. I think. How small is it? Is is there a graph in which it's? Look at this graph. Like Patrick be a twink? Yeah, he'd be a twink. Yeah, you and I are twunks. <laughs> and then I think after that it goes to cub, but that's like a younger. It's a younger big boy, like husky. I think. We call yeah. It. Okay. And then bear is a older brolic, bear. hairy big boy. Yeah, bear. The bear, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that's from a movie. Inglorious bastards. Okay, don't don't, don't yeah. shun him yet. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he means well. Yeah. We support the Jews in the podcast. <laughs> we support everybody in the podcast, but yeah. we take shots at all of them. Yeah, that's exactly what you do. We like Jews. Well, you're Jewish. Yeah. Are you? I think you're actually Jewish a little bit. I would assume so. Oh, you've usually always quickly denied that, so I'm actually. I don't know. We I should mean, do the ancestry.com thing. We should do an ancestry.com thing. We should to see yeah. what we are. Yeah. I'm actually um appara- apparently I was a part of the O'Donohue clan. No shit. Via O'Donohue. my via my because my dad's part Irish. Apparently Spence means beetroot. Yeah. So, Spence means beetroot. It, it also means pantry. What does my last name mean? Is it on Urban Dictionary? I remember I fucking I sent it to you. I know, I just don't remember what it was. Um I don't remember. I fucking sent it. I did everyone's. It didn't come up. This no. is Leslie, but with like accent markets and like Russian. Yours was hard to fucking find, to be honest. I can't find anything. No, okay. Uh, okay, I found it. I found it. I found it. Okay. Uh, Lesney means ruthless character. There wasn't a whole lot on it. Uh, so that could go either way. Uh, like, you yes. could be ruthlessly kind or ruthlessly mean. Yes. Yeah, Spence means pantry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, That's a good one because you're always in the pantry. Yeah. Uh, when you're not intermittently fasting. <laughs> intermittently fasting. <laughs> Isaiah means God saves. Yes, that's why my name is Isaiah. Good. I knew that. Jack yeah. means God is gracious. That's pretty close. Is it really? Jack means that? I think Jack, Jack would mean something more basic. Like, really? Yeah. Jack, Jack has had deep meaning. Jack means God. Yeah, the name Jack can't have a deep meaning. Well, because it's not a common name or anything. I was of just Of course, asking. Alex means defender of mankind. She's defender of shit. <laughs> well, she wasn't. She barely defends me. Yeah. Um... Obaya means a long piece of clothing. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense because he wears a lot of long socks. Yeah, shorts. Renard means fox. Pa- <laughs> Powers means a poor man or pauper. A pauper. White. Uh, Alex. Dude, Alexandra. White means uh, son of the fair Gilly. <laughs> I thought that would have been racist. <clears throat> yeah. Wait. What? Do Alex? I already did Alex. Oh, you did. It meant defender of mankind. Oh, that first name. Okay. Yeah, but because she was in the military, so that- Theodore. <laughs> Theodore. That's your middle name, right? It is. <laughs> it is. Correct. Oh, that means gift of God. Divine gift. The original Greek name, Theodoros. <laughs> <laughs> Theodorus? Is a, Honestly, is a I, compound okay, of Theos God. I could, have, I could have guessed that Theodore meant something good because it's such a virgin name that Theodore wouldn't do anything. So only virgins have good names? No, but someone who's kind of like a very low-key virgin would have a good Meaning behind it, you know what I mean? What's the most virgy name you know? A virgy name I've ever known. I mean, it's got to be like... 
Um, like Christopher or Nicholas or something. I think like Alan or Chad. Chad is not Actually, a virgin no, no, name. That, that's true. Chad is I'll fuck everybody. Yeah. Or like Melvin. Zachary. Yeah, Zachary. Uh, Zachary. Anyone who says like, is like, hey, this is John. Actually, I go by John. Yeah, it's like, okay, if you. those people do that, it is 100% chance. It is like a 99% chance that they're kind of weird. And yeah. I literally remember my, my first roommate in college. I, first of all, I texted my mom and mom was like, okay, your roommate's going to be here. So I'm like, okay, I hope he's not a fucking weirdo. One guy shows up. He's from Japan. Cool as fuck. He's on the baseball team. I'm like, dope. Awesome. Sweet. Yeah. That's, that's a, that's a win. I'm like, cool. And, also, he like from Japan. He's from Tokyo. Yeah, they're top. The same. It's top ramen packets. Yeah, but they are so much better. Really, unbelievable. Is it the seasoning or the noodles? I think it's both. Really, a combination. I mean, it's of the two. it's so good because I remember like, every college student has ramen, and I'm yeah. like, hey, can I try one of those? Like, yeah, yeah. I give. I try. I'm like, dude, this is amazing. Did you say his cigarettes had like all these little bubbles in them? Yes, and, shit? and the cigarettes he had were literally like a puff bar now. They tasted so fucking good. I'm like, what is this? I'm like, I don't even smoke, and this is amazing. Wow. But um, You don't even smoke. When I was... No, I didn't smoke then. You didn't? I was 19. Oh. Maybe like a year or two after. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah, I was yeah. only 19. I just turned 19 when I got there because my birthday's in September. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Anyways, um, so... And he... First of all, my, my the other roommate, he emailed me red flag. He had my number on the paper and he emailed me mm -hmm. red flag. Number one. Yeah. Emails me. Hi, Isaiah. Because I'm like, um, he's like, hi, Isaiah. I'm being remade. I'm like, oh, hey. I'm like, hey, Chris. That's his name, Chris. I'm like, hey, Chris. He's like, actually, I go by Christopher. I'm like, fuck. Oh, no. I'm like, fuck. And he was a fucking weirdo, man. Damn. He would That's stay nice. up all night by himself and shit all the time. He would bring home yellow fucking teeth, eight Mountain Dew blue voltages every fucking oh, day. And so I'm like, God, dude. And he would just a fucking... Sounds like your brother. No, he's <laughs> 20 times worse. It was... Just the Mountain Dew. And he was just like... Hey. <laughs> he was just fucking weird, and he creeped me out, and I wanted to punch him in the face. Damn. Yeah, it was bad, you man. let out all this aggression. It's okay. I'm not aggressive. Uh, aggressive? Aggressive. I'm aggressive. not aggressive. I'm just very passionate. Yeah, no, I get that. Yeah. Well, we're at 43. I think when I'm, I'm not kidding, when I'm, uh, when I'm like, let's just say in the middle of like my working life, like maybe my <laughs> mid thirties or whatever, I feel like I'm going to be just a fucking, not like a hothead, but I'll be a little bit of a hothead. I think just, right. just like sporadic. I'll freak out a lot. Oh, I can definitely see that. Yeah, I'll, I'm going to freak out a lot. Yeah, she's already grinding down on your temperament. That's for sure. Oh, 100%. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I, it I, happens. I but like, but the thing is, this is what makes me me, is I do that and I could be fine. You know what I mean? I just need I just need to get it out. And once it's out, then I'm, I'm back on the horse. You know, it's What you happens. need to look for is a better outlet. Instead of casting that onto people, you know, maybe. I didn't say I would cast it on people. I said I would just go back. On what? Just at, at the wall? It doesn't mean anything physical. It doesn't mean anything mean. It just means I'll express myself and then move forward. And if I'm wrong, I will then apologize after. Yeah. There you go. Okay. I just think you need to find a better outlet. Just because you read a couple books or no, a couple chapters of books do doesn't, oh mean, doesn't mean everyone has to have their own little <sighs> set way, way to do shit. Okay. I'm just saying, you know, maybe take a walk. This is not where we talk about these things <laughs> in the podcast. This is not the place where we do this. We're at 45. All right, we're at 45. Jack, where can they find you? Jack underscore Spence, where can they find you? Isaiah underscore Leslie on Instagram or both of our Instagrams at the Around Lunchable Instagram page. Thank you guys for listening. Um, I just wanted to say, keep an eye out. We, I promise, I know we've been saying this, both but eyes. as often as I can spare them, um, the merch is going to drop. Because it hasn't dropped yet, I'm saying we're doing, open your fucking ears, we're going to do something for the Halloween kind of vibe. And then at the same time, we're also going to drop at the same time, like Thanksgiving kind of things. You know what I mean? And honestly, the Christmas ones probably won't be far behind that because one, just smuggly Christmas sweater things. A lot of things that you can actually get your, you know, wiggle yourselves into in a nice, a nice cold night, of, nice cold night. Nice pair of long johns or something. Yeah. <laughs> ATLT long johns. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, ATLT stockings. Oh, that'd be good. Yeah. What'd they say? Just AT Shouldn't it say their name on it? Yeah, but like, just like an ATLT, like has like logo on the, you know, on the top of the sock part <clears throat> and then their name. And they can customize yeah. it, yeah. Or we'll just say fuck it, never do it. <laughs> but okay, anyways, guys, thanks for listening. Um, we gotta find a supplier for custom stuff. Yeah, custom. We need beer, a lot of stuff. beer koozies too. Um, all right, guys. Well, thanks for listening. We'll see you next week. And see ya. And see ya.
party up in here.